What's up guys and welcome back to Georgia Boy Outdoors. Man, it is hot in South Georgia today. We're out here sweating in the front yard because the river's too high to fish. We're getting ready to work on a new drag chain. Figured I'd take y'all through the setup because a lot of people's asked us about it, hadn't they, Cole? Yes, sir. I know a lot of times we're down on the river, people ask how we're controlling the kayak so well in the cur current. I'm going to take y'all through it right now. I got Miley on the camera. Miley, are you there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We didn't exactly pay her, but she's getting the job done. All right, let's go through the drag chain, start to finish. We're going to start with the electrical tape here. And what I'm going to do, the chain that I'm using is actually like some dog chain I found at Walmart. You can buy like a little tub of it. Um, you could use bigger chain, but the problem we found with the bigger chain in the rivers, we get hung a lot, don't yes, we? Sir. And the reason some people spray these chains uh, with different coatings, the reason I like the tape is it keeps if i can get it straight it keeps any limbs or debris from snagging on it in the current and it's still pretty flexible it lasts a while well we've been the chain we've been using what it's been a couple months since we wrapped it it's good stuff so this is the kind of the setup we use like i say you got to kind of work with it a little bit i'm not gonna make y'all watch me wrap every link but I will let y'all see the end result of what we're working with. So we're gonna keep wrapping chain. Give us just a second. We'll show y'all what we're doing. Me and Cole's trying not to melt out here working on this chain, but let me show you. All right, the first thing we do, we use a 15 foot dock rope. You can get these anywhere. We get ours at Walmart. What I like about the dock rope's already got a handle built into it, and it makes hooking this thing onto the kayak super easy. Our Jackson Big Tuna has a hole for this, but any kayak's got a handle, see? Don't even have to tie a knot. Now our drag chain's hooked on. We get done fishing. All we gotta do is pull it back out and we're good to head to the house. The next important part of this chain setup is the clip, and I'll show you why in a minute, but also make sure when you tie your clip on, you tape it. This is gonna help it come through snags better, especially in rivers like the Satilla and uh, other South Georgia rivers, real important. All right, the clip. What makes this drag chain setup, setup good is you can change out your weights. You know, say me and Colt are down in the salt water, the tide is ripping hard. We can put all these links on here and it becomes what? An anchor. An anchor. But the cool thing about this anchor is you get ready to move, you don't have to pull it up. Oh no, a stroke or two of the paddle, it comes off the bottom. You drift a few feet to the next creek, let it sit back down, it holds you, so on and so on. But let's say we go to Satilla River. Satilla's moving fairly slow, but we want to slow ourselves down just a little. One link. We're good to go, ain't we? Yes, sir. So there's a lot of different possibilities with this. You could experiment with different chain sizes for your kayak and where you fish. The key is versatility, being able to change it out. I can't stress enough, though, the clip and the smaller lengths of chain. Make sure you wrap them good so they won't get snagged up. I guarantee you with this setup, you're going to catch more fish every time you're out on the water. If you hadn't already, please subscribe to our channel. Be sure and like this video and click on that notifications icon, and we'll see you next time out on water next time out on